If you're looking to protect your home or business, all we need is a good security system. Well, how about the home tight kit? Everything is here. MBR system. It will record 24-7 with two terabyte drive. Four cameras, a megapixel, not only records video, but also sound as well. So you have the whole entire system to protect, again, your home or your business. In this video, I show you how to configure this right now. How are we doing, everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxNT.com. And yes, like I said in the beginning, we have the whole entire system to secure your home, your business, five megapixel camera, ultra ST, and even console microphone, 24 seven MBR cables and all this. So once again, what we're going to do now, I show you these things and then we're going to actually configure right now. All right. So like I show you in the beginning, we had the four 60 feet Ethernet cable go down the side mouse. Simple, no keyboard required for this. Patch cable, power supply 110, 240, and HDMI cable. Now, the camera is a dome style. So we got total four. We can see right over here that the mic, the infrared, the camera. And this requires if if you have, if you don't have an MBR system and you want to pow power up the camera um, through a power supply, you can do that. But you don't have to because what? This is an MBR, so it's powered over the internet. So you're gonna use your RJ45 uh, Ethernet cable, and with that you're gonna power up the camera. So no power supply, no anything else required for this. So what you're going to do, you're going to close this up and that's it. Now for the camera, there is three Allen screws. The way you have to do it is remove the three Allen screws and right over here on the side, there is a screw where you're going to lose it and you can tell the camera the position you want to install, right? Normally you install this in, in a wall or if you install it in the ceiling, right, you can rotate it left and right. Now each camera comes with all the things you need to mount it. And I'll show you that right now. So first, if you're going to be outdoor, because these cameras are waterproof, you want to use the waterproof connector with the HJ45 cable. That's where you put it right over here and you protect the connection. So each, each camera comes with a complete set to mount it anywhere you want to mount this. So that's nice. You don't need to go on the hardware store or anything. Why? Because it comes with everything. Now, the brain, or the main part, we're going to put this in the side. All right, so here we have the MBR system. Here we have the light for the HT network and run. Simple. If you look around the back, we have eight connections, total for eight cameras. From here, you're going to connect right into your modem or router, audio output, VGA output, HDMI output to USB and power. Now to hook up this simple. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the mouse one of the ports. Next we'll connect the power supply. By the way, there is no switch to turn it on and off because technically this is supposed to run 24 hours. So that way nobody by mistake will turn off the unit. We're gonna plug that out. Uh, a second, because I want to get video at the same time. So we're going to plug the HDMI cable. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug your uh, display monitor. If you have uh, some old display, then you get the HDMI. But if you go this way, you will get sound also as well from your HDMI output. So my next thing is connect the cameras. What I will do is wire everything, connect all the cameras, and then plug all the cameras in the back and turn it on. And automatically will detect everything. And then from here, remember, if you're going to be outdoor, you want to use the little adapter to protect, to protect the connection because it's going to be a camera. It is uh, waterproof. 
but you have to put the connector. So the only thing you have to do this here. There is a little green light that's gonna power up somewhere plug power. Remember, you don't need to use this. Why? Because this is only to use it if the system or the system you buy is not in uh, power over the internet. But this one is powered over internet, so you get the power, the 12 volts through the RJ45 cable. All right, so we are ready on the apply power and we should get the signal right away. Yep, yeah, it's on, we get the first beep. All right, so we are then. So right away, what we had at first, choose your language. Right from here. So let's see what the language is available. Almost everything there. Yes. English. Press OK. So we need to set a password for the administrator. All right. So the default password is 123456. Pretty simple password. So at this point, we want you to change it. So all password is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna change your password. All right. So when you say your password, make sure to show strong, because if not, it will not allow you to set your password. All right. So you have to show strong. So after the password, you can decide if you want to use and power and unlock. We're gonna skip this, or we can just click to not show it again. Now after that, set your time, set the right uh, zone, we're going to leave it the way it is, and set the military hour or uh, PN and I am, I'm going to do military 24 hours, click next, exit the week, sir. All right, so one will plug in, automatic shows the camera, and if you have a, a camera, so for camera, as you plug in the camera, it's going to show that automatically, you don't need to do anything, just plug it in, turn on the unit, and it's done. At this point, if you only have one, or let's say in this case, this kid for four, so we want for the screen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click anywhere here, and then we're gonna go Windows, and we're gonna choose four windows, see? That's better. All right, so now we got the four, four screenshots up. At this point, I show you the time of the day, so you're gonna click around the screen, and we see the little menu here. If we click two times with the left button, we get full screen, we press again, and it goes to show the screen. Now from here, we can control the image configuration, take a picture if we want to apply the digital zoom. I can just go and you see there, you see my eyes there. So it's good if you need to see the play of the card or something that way. We click once again. That's only for what they call it the PTC. And you need to get the camera to allow you to control uh, the movement of the camera, all right? But that's not the case for this. Now this is start local recording. It's already doing the local recording. Or we can click here and it will start the recording. But you see the little guy in the top? That means automatic detect and that something is moving, like me right now, right? Camera and the volume. We can turn on the speaker. And, and from here, we can get information, the password, the IP address of the camera. You can set a password for each camera if you want. We're going to leave it as a default, but you can have a each camera with their own password. Now from here, we can set where is the camera, time and day, and camera name, hallway, location, window, whatever you want to be, right? And it shows the time and day in the camera as you see right in the bottom. So if you're looking right at the bottom, now on this side we have the scan, so you scan the uh, QR code. So you can, that way you can download the application and you can control the whole camera right from your phone camera information, alarm settings, and it's connected to local network at the time, and you can always lock the camera the way you want it. So what I'm going to go main menu, we can shut down from here, restart, playback, or main menu, and from here we can control the cameras, we can change the name, you can change the IP address, I would recommend it, leave it the way it is, because the system will automatically assign the cameras for each, but you can get information, get more detail, and right from the network time day and you can set from here the behavior you want from the camera network connection now this is the system right a name you can uh, change the language or we saw that beginning time um, you can set here when to start on 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 or off and on for holidays users and the security system right there backups and 
if you want to back up in a storage system it's right over here we see the two terabyte we can format we can take a snapshot and see we can override a stop full we can allocate space but it doesn't matter we'll do that for you as you see right from the factory you don't need to touch anything but if you need information here it will show you all the alarms and it will show you right over here in this place now alarms we can always set where we want to record or see maybe you are interested to only catch a camera comes on when somebody comes from the corner when to come when and you want the alarm on and enable enable the select yeah, human body detection if you want that input enable bga alarms and the bus is all the things you can do here it will not require much and as I said, technical level, as you saw the menu, yes, they have a lot of configurations, but if you leave it the way it is, it will technically, it will record 24 hours 7. Maybe you just want to turn it off over the weekend if you don't want that. You can do those things on and set the alarm. But the nice thing is, when you do the application and you have it run your phone, now you can manually your whole business or manually the house. Uh, right from run from your phone and that's real nice and you see i did this real time and only takes about, about 10 minutes i would say the hard work here you know what it is it's just make the holes and send the wires whatever you need to be sending all right thank you